look at a lot of different cut content stuff recently to try and keep videos going here for while I'm away for the next week and a half or two weeks, whatever it may be when this video finally goes live. And I've been taking a look at a lot of different cool stuff. Modern Warfare 2 in particular has a ton of cool things that I love sharing with you guys, but one of which that's always caught my attention and recently I've just wanted to really showcase again here for you guys is a game mode that I remember playing on mods within Modern Warfare 2 way back in the day. And it's one that a lot of you may never have heard of, especially if you've joined the series and franchise as of the past couple of years and never played Modern Warfare 2 back in its prime whether that be on 360, PlayStation 3, or PC, but this was the mode Global Thermonuclear War. This was probably one of my favorite game modes to play, and it was always something so tough to get into a lobby of it, because this had to have been done back in, once again, the prime of Modern Warfare 2, and the prime and the height of JTAG modding on consoles, or on PC, I guess you could just do it whenever, but I remember lobby surfing, trying to find modded lobbies for hours a day, trying to find at least least one single lobby that would play Global Thermonuclear War. So what this was, was essentially one giant game of maybe Capture the Flag or Hardpoint, the predecessor of that mode, but it was only one single objective, and that objective was a tactical nuke, which really utilized the first time we ever saw a game-ending killstreak or one of those major killstreaks at the end of everything else. It really utilized that to its full advantage, and honestly, I wish this would have made the full game because it was so fun, so cool but you had to hold enough time on this what was the bomb from search and destroy for this mode and once you ended up gaining a certain amount of points and you held it for a certain amount of time your team would be granted the tactical nuke to which your team would then end up winning the game as a result the nuke would go off ending the game and therefore everything else is history. Now, what made this also really interesting as well was if you ended up going into overtime, there were cues for sudden death and no respawning within this. And if you see the gameplay in the background now, you'll realize just how crucial each and every life at that point was to the game mode because it is so fast paced, so action packed, and on the majority of maps that it played, it was on small maps. So you had to be either really good, know your map really well, know your team had the advantage well, or you just ended up not having a single chance to survive and thus the enemy team would end up capturing the nuke and winning the game as a result. But once again, as per the gameplay in the background, a huge thank you and shout out to my good friend Nick or Conviction DR once again. You can tell just how fast paced this is and it was just so much fun. And once again, those lobby surfing hours that went into this were definitely worth it once you finally got into a lobby for this. Now, was this something that was a bannable offense? I don't necessarily remember it being so, but I do remember I lost a couple accounts because they got banned from jumping into so many modded lobbies, but this was one of those things that, once again, was so close to the full release of Modern Warfare 2 that it was available simply via console modding or modding on PC because everything for the mode was there in the game files. It wasn't something where you had to piece together anything, make a custom mod out of it or anything like that. It was literally there, just not public. So to be able to put this into an online multiplayer setting would have been so easy in the grand scheme of things. And genuinely, I wish that it would have happened because once again, this mode was so much fun. And to me, this was the greatest mode ever created that didn't make it in Call of Duty. This was one that I definitely think should have had a public release, a chance here with this, and I know it would have been a fan favorite, especially given Modern Warfare 2 and the hype around the nuke. It was the first time we ever saw that, and to be able to use that as a game-winning killstreak for every single game, that would have been sweet. That would have been so cool to be able to play around with, but it never ended up being so, and thus, it's lost to history, whether some people saw it or not. I guess really that's all up to you guys, but it's not something that is readily available as of right now. Once again, this was primarily something that was out of the peak of Modern Warfare 2 and the peak that was Modern Warfare 2's modding community. But nonetheless, lost the time or not, it's one that I still to this day absolutely love. I love going back and checking out some footage of it. I love going back and trying to remember just how hard I went in those lobbies, but with it being now almost a decade since Modern Warfare 2, it's kind of one of those things that is lost to history and is one of those things that probably won't be coming back, but 
I want to let you guys know about it because I want to see how many guys actually know what I'm talking about here with this, how many guys actually played it yourself, how many guys knew about the mode, how many didn't know about it at all. Whatever it may be though, let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like down below as well. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty, that including Black Ops 3, both multiplayer and zombies, Call of Duty World War 2 zombies and multiplayer there as well, Modern Warfare Mastered, Infinite Warfare, all that good stuff we got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Mine is an espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.